task is begin now so our uh, main task which is a very important task is uh, going to start from now okay so what we will do we will search for mongodb atlas okay like that and the very first website will come which is mongodb uh, mongodb.com cloud atlas right so here you have to do a start free trial okay after that it's taking time i think oh so so the page has been loaded and yeah so it's asking for sign up uh, it will uh, ask for first name last name company company if you are not working uh, i am working so if if you are working you can uh, put the company name if you are not working uh, okay so you can put any company like uh, whatever uh, like oracle tcs whatever okay it doesn't matter it will not verify so you can type any any company like tcs and just move ahead okay so um, after putting company name your email id would be required and password a strong password will require then uh, you have to agree this and create your atlas account so it will uh, verify your email right so i have already created this so that's why i'm not going to register again so yeah after that after registration it will ask for verification right so i uh yeah this is the verification mail i got so i i already have verified okay so after that what i got uh i got this one so you also got uh, you will after registration and verification process in atlas mongodb atlas uh, you can you, you will also see this only so yeah this is the starting point of the atlas okay so cloud database so what we have to do here it's showing us three options we can go for serverless m10 and m0 so this is free this is uh, uh, some charges is there and this is also provides some charges so we are not going for uh, charge we, we are not going for any subscription we just going for a uh, free free of cost okay so you have to choose this one okay then aws you will get the same ui we are in you know, 2023rd okay so this is the year and if you are also watching in this year only uh, 2023rd uh, so you you will get this ui only so in future it will update maybe so we have to choose free one then we have to choose aws we have to choose uh, just i'm from india so where is that one yeah mumbai we have to choose mumbai here region provider aws cluster we have to choose cluster name so cluster zero is okay okay so cluster zero is okay because it is free so you can put any name here so i'm just leaving the cluster name here and i'm going to create the cluster here so this is the very first page uh, to deploy your database so uh, yeah i am trying to have cloud database of mongodb so just create the cluster free of cost here okay then let's see yeah this is the window we got okay so very first window we have this one only username and password you have to set so uh yeah it's throwing me in this page uh authentication for authentication your connection okay uh, we have to uh, provide username password password is auto generated okay so this one is auto generating so this is my username jayant and password is this one so we have to copy and paste this okay and the password is this one only we have to keep this because uh, in future uh, we have to use this okay so this is the username password create user just create on user and yeah i am done username jayant and password is there the password is not showing here but i have already kept it okay so i have pasted here only so it will require actually so after that what we'll do you can create your map my current ip address okay you can uh, do it from here as well as you can go to network access so so that you can create uh, your you can uh, it you know you can provide access to your ip so whatever ip you have you can access or what from whatever ip you want to access this database cluster database uh, you can provide your uh, ip here so right now it's automatically took this one only so i'm going to remove this okay and i am going to provide my ip and yeah here it is and so it's automatically uh, gets my ip and it's safe here so this is the thing and cloud environment is there so nothing change we are finish and close okay go to database section so our cluster name is cluster zero okay and you can go this one only database okay so here we have connection this 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 that first i will do one thing going to database access so this is my username and password i have already copied it so if you want you can add new database user as well from here only okay so you have to give uh, that username here password here and you can uh, yeah you can generate the password automatically as well so this is the thing you can add the user from here only okay after that i don't want to add any user so i have already this user and this is the section uh, database access you can provide to any user your friend you or whatever so after that network access is there i'll create add ip address okay and allow access from anywhere so uh, by while using this allow uh, you can access this database from anywhere okay so this is cloud database we are using so that's why 
uh, if you have any specific IP uh, of any specific server, so you can provide this. Basically, companies are doing what you know. They are providing their IPs here, uh, list of IPs. Okay, like this one, and they edit here. So right now the IP is wrong. Okay, so yes. So uh, for now, I want to access allow access from anywhere and confirm it. So it's here then, like it's buffering here. Okay, it will take um, some time, and after that it, it will configure. So right now, what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to delete this one only, the older one and I want to access it from anywhere so 00, 0 IP is there right so now I can use this MongoDB cluster from anywhere I can access it and go to advanced section advanced section I don't think we have to go there and database section is there and now database access is completed this part network access is completed now we will do one thing just going to database option so guys uh, our uh, at the very beginning uh, uh, our first window was to creating cluster so my cluster was zero uh, cluster zero so you, you could uh, I cannot rename it right now because uh, at the time it, it provided me the option to rename but right now I have to work with it only so cluster zero is my cluster and you can create more cluster okay but we are using the free version so I can I don't have any uh, access to create more cluster because already one free cluster is created okay so uh, I, now the important part is coming again so uh, this is the step to create uh, to generate the connection string so how we can generate the connection string just connect okay i'm just creating connect button now before that i think we have to create the database only so let's create the database okay cluster zero and so before connect we will create the database so be browse collection is there okay in this button when, when we will click it's showing us two things so load a sample database and create your own database so i want to create my own database but i want uh, i would like to see you the sample data one so 350 mb data is there so if you load sample database now so it will load the 350 mb data here in this cluster but i don't want to do that uh, add my own data okay and you have to create the database name so my database name is node.js node.js is ua okay and collection name user we can put a collection user just create and yeah done it's created now so our database is loading here so we don't have any data so you can see the database name is node.js easy way okay after that dot one dot is there a dot means uh, uh, inside that database we have user so node uh, here you can see the hierarchy node.js easy way then user this is a collection this is the table in MySQL, you call it is uh, as a table, but in MongoDB we are calling 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 it as a collection. Okay, so this is a collection, and this is the database name we have. So database name is very important. So we can keep it here. This is the database. Okay, we can we are going to copy and paste it here, right? Okay. So this is the database name. After. So it will very important actually. It's required. It will ask for it actually. Okay. And this is collection. This is collection one. Okay, collection name only. Yeah, so we are done. We don't have any data. So right now uh, you can find uh, use find query to search here. Okay, so we are not going to apply anything here because we don't have any query. We don't have any data. So right now uh, again go to database, and the main portion of MongoDB Atlas connectivity is to generate the string connection string. So this is the major part, guys. You can see these are the analytics. So going to that connect button, just click over it okay so you if you want to connect with compass mongo cell vs code atlas uh, atlas sql or drivers so you simply have to use drivers so just click on drivers we are node.js developer right so for node.js yeah it's already used node.js so node.js version 4.1 or later so yeah we have 16 version 16 we are using right now so we have uh, we, we are eligible okay after that it's saying npm install mongodb okay we will install mongodb no worry after that uh, this is the connection string guys so uh, this is not the co complete con connection string you have to modify this so first of all what we have to we have to just copy this one okay we have to copy this one and we'll put that here connection now we will play with the connection string okay so this is the major part if you want you can see the full code of connection so let's see the full code as well so for that you have to use mongodb mongodb you have to install mongodb so if you install mongodb now you can use this code as well so we will try to connect with it with it as well uh, later not now uh, okay but first of all what it's saying replace password with the password for the giant uh, user okay so yes we have that password so so guys uh, again drivers so i don't want to use this one i just want to this one okay 
this connection string okay you can see it's saying this is into your application code add your uh, connection string into your application code now just we have just copied it here from here and push, put it here okay so yes here this is our connection string okay so you can see what we have to do i'm just going to you know this is our username you can see our this is our password only this one okay and after colon i paste the password and at, at the rate is there this is a cluster name cluster zero we have right this is the cluster name and after that this is default this are default and yeah we have to do one thing here like we have to click here uh, after uh, you know after slash we have to keep we have to put our database name so our database name is node.js easy way okay so i'm going to put it here and yes this is one line this is in one line only because of the uh, no not bad it's breaking it into new line so our connection string is ready let me explain it one one more time so after colon you have to this is my, my username giant and after colon i have to paste the password here okay this was this is the password and after uh, this is the cluster name okay and this is mongodb.net after slash dot net slash i have i put the you know this is the database name database name okay so database name this one so just click it here just copy this string and yes i have to put here only okay so let's close this one this is my app.js save it and let's let me yeah this is the uri mongo mongo's dot connection this uh, this this one the uri okay and i'll keep this one in the top okay so first it will uh, require mongodb then we are creating the uri in the uri this is the this is the username after that password is there after that cluster name is there okay after that dot uh, net dot net after just dot net slash our database name is there so yeah and if i copy and paste the original uh, string you can copy and paste it and compare it here only okay I, i'm just going to show you the comparison okay this is the giant this is my username after that password in this password field i put my password here okay this is the password field you have to remove the arrow left arrow and right arrow after that add the rate is there add the rate cluster you can see at the rate cluster zero okay this connection string is same okay till the dot net slash after that after the slash i put my node.js easy way this one this is my database name okay so node.js easy way i put i just put it here okay and that's all we don't have to do anything so our connection string is ready i hope uh, i i uh, explain it th three times so i hope uh, you you get it very easily so this is our uh, uri okay and this is our connection string so i just cut it from here and paste it so the main part the main portion of the video is came here this one only and we have to run this project on and check the connection string is connected or not okay getting connected or not so for that what i'll do i'll go to this project site okay this is my root folder and app.js you can see here i will write cmd okay and node mode app dot js normal app dot js okay normal app dot js and let's wait our server is running okay so node js is currently active and listening on the port 2000 our server node server is running as well as database connected successfully guys database is connected successfully so yeah we won the math actually and we are uh, right now able to create the server as well as able to connect the database so this video is uh, quite lengthy but uh, yeah you will get to lo learn lots of things from here so we are successful we are able to successfully connect the database only okay so uh, i think this is a very good moment for us because we have just connected the cloud database with our local uh, server so this is a very huge thing guys if you do this now if you have done this so you can get very excited you can be very happy because you, this is a very big thing actually so yeah as a developer as a learning stage this is a very big deal okay so uh, we will check some error as well so right now this is our uh, this is our uh, connection string right so we will check we will check if uh, there is an error so right now we got success database is connected successfully then what i am going to do i am going to do some changes here okay i have uh, just changed the name and just save it and after that the server will automatically restart and yeah we got the error guys okay so uh, it it will fail to authenticate till node.js current uh, uh, yeah node.js server is running after that connection error mongodb mongo server error bad auth authentication failed so guys actually i did change in the uh, my username okay so that's why the authentication failed and if i change in anything else like here only okay mongodb 2020 and save it and just run it here 
here okay again we are getting error so node.js is running 2000 and mongo parse error invalid scheme okay invalid schema okay uh, expected connection string to start with mongodb so our connection string should be start with mongodb okay but what we have right now mongodb mongodb 22 right so i did uh, this uh, to show you the error so this is a very good learning okay so invalid schema expected uh, yeah expected connection string started with mongodb and mongodb srv plus okay so this is the error you can you will get if you you put something wrong here so if uh, yeah right now it's correct and if i want to to change in somewhere else like if i want to change the database name okay i will change the database name this is my database name and yeah just save it save this file and and just start the server i just change the database name but it's connected guys if you change the database now if you change the database name it will automatically create the database let me show you let me show you okay uh, where is this our database browse collection okay so we have a database here user and after that i change the database okay but uh, it what it's saying let's see it's loading actually guys so guys i thought that if i change the database name you know my connection string it will create the database name automatically but uh, in that case uh, it's not creating actually if you you change the collection name it will create the collection multiple collection okay uh, by the name but uh, it will not create the database name um, because we are creating the database only one okay so you have to manually create it here and just going forward and yeah this is our connection string again uh, what we'll do now guys uh, our pending task is there right so we will see we'll go to mongodb database and it's taking time and connect go to the connect button again go to the drivers and let's let's try to use this code only okay guys uh, one thing i i missed actually so mongos is uh, you have to install mongos okay in your package so if you don't use mongos you'll get error so uh, i did uh, actually in my uh, pro project in this project i installed the mongos that's why uh, it's not showing me error so for that you have to in, uh, do one thing and pm install okay this one only you have to do so that it will install the mongoos and after that it will not show error and mongoos is installed successfully and uh, let me check package.json package.json yeah package.json updated the mongoos here and we will not get the error and yeah right our database is connecting successfully if you want to see the what kind of mongoos error we will get if mongo package is not there i'm just going to remove the mongoos depend of mongo package from dependency i'm going to install npm install okay after that if i run the project uh, close it just run the project again let me check yeah if you don't have mongoose package install and okay so if you don't you, if you didn't use uh, if you didn't install mongoose uh, module then it will show cannot find module like uh, cannot find this module like mongoose so for that to remove this error we will do one thing npm install m o n t w o s e so yeah we missed this uh, i missed this part actually so right now i'm going to show you yeah this is the error if you are not using mongoose after that to use this code only to remove them to use uh, the connectivity with database you have to use mongoose right uh, we require mongoose here so at the very beginning of the video i should show you uh, i i forgot actually so i i uh, you have to install the mongoose at the very beginning of the project when you start the project okay so install this and it's taking time i don't know why so mongoose is installed successfully then i'm going to start the project and yeah our database again connectivity successfully right now what i'm doing uh, i'm just stop this i'm just comment this commenting this my code of the connectivity and i'll do one thing i'll i will the, i'll take the code from uh, mongo mongodb cluster only so this one they are providing okay for that i have to copy the whole code this is the connectivity code only we have write the connectivity code uh, these four lines okay we have did this within the four lines but uh, you know mongo mongodb uh, cluster in the mo cluster website mongodb cluster website they are pro providing it lots of lines of code right so rather than use this we can use you can use this one only but uh, what i'm going to do I'm, I'm i'm going to show you this code as well so just copy this one okay copy paste it here okay this huge numbers of codes okay so in this yeah, in this code we can see required is there required mongodb so you have to install mongodb otherwise it will show me error so let me show you check you check it okay authentication failed bad auth okay so this is why uh, because uh, we did we have uh, we we have very we our uh, connection string is wrong which we paste it here so we have to change the connection string only so i just cut my connection string here and paste it and rename it uri yeah uri we are using here okay so our connection string is ready 
let's check in package.json mongodb is there or not mongodb is not there right so mongodb is not there we are requiring it but when we our server is starting ping your deployment uh, deployment successful connected to mongodb so yes mongodb you have to require if it is not there you can install it uh, like npm install db okay and you have to uh, insert uh, you have to put this command not from here only you can open cmd npm install so mongodb will install here okay yeah mongodb installation is done and after that this package uh, after installing the mongodb package you can see the package.json mongodb and mongos these two packages are there okay so these two packages are important uh, you can use mongos or mongodb to connect the atlas database Mong cloud database so our code is working actually so uh, here you can see yeah our uh, uh, we try with two different codes and it's working fine our database our cloud database is connecting very easily right so this is the thing you should know you should know how can we connect with database using mongodb and mongos and if it is a cloud database it's very important to uh, for uh, for the beginners to have this knowledge so this is very real time knowledge i'm uh, sharing with you guys okay so instead of n numbers of code you can use these four lines of code to connect your mongodb with your server okay so yeah this is the video and guys i will uh, explain the next video in which we will try to connect with mongodb only uh, which will uh, in our local system so if you, you for that you have to install Mo mongodb software so right now we are not using installing